Welcome back. MTG Joe here at Coria's, just a couple days away. Really excited to be playing in the early streamer event on Wednesday, April 15th. We'll be streaming from about 1 p.m. Eastern onwards. So I'm building a bunch of decks, want to test out over the format. We have access to every card in the set, best of one. Um, so I'm putting together a bunch of decks. You can catch them all on my Aether Hub account. Trying to do a video deck tech for each of them. If I can't, you can just catch them there. It's a lot easier for me, like in off time, just to put together deck lists on there than it is to film a full video, get it up here, everything like that. Um, if you have any suggestions uh, to this deck, any of the decks I've posted or decks you'd like to see, uh, you can uh, drop a note. I have a community page on my uh, YouTube page. Uh, some people are posting deck lists there. Gonna try to play some viewer decks. Uh, also, if you're just looking for deck lists in general, on uh, my Instagram page, MTG underscore Joe, the number two at the end. Couldn't get number the only MTG Joe. Someone else beat me to it. Um, but I post daily, uh, at least a deck list a day. I try to scour all over the web to find new and unique decks. Um, so kind of a repository there. There's a good community of folks there as well that we usually chat about a bunch of brews and stuff like that. Uh, you can also DM me there if you have any deck lists um, for the new set. Um, so this one here is a teamer blue, red, green, mutate deck. Um, so mutate was a very hard deck to build. The mechanic is super confusing. When it first came out, I sat at my computer here and read it over multiple, multiple, multiple times. So kind of explaining mutate. You, you can only mutate onto a non-human creature to start. You can pay a creature's alternative mutate cost. Um, it, and then basically you can either put it on top or underneath another creature. If it, the creature on top is the creature that it is, but it gains all the ability and text of the creature underneath as well. So if the creature had like flying, it, the, new, the creature on top also gets flying. Uh, there's also a bunch of effects that when you mutate, you get X, which trigger each time you mutate. Um, so how it works is you have a creature on the battlefield. If you try to mutate and they kill the creature, bounce the creature that's there before the mutate resolves, uh, that creature goes to the graveyard, the creature you're trying to mutate just resolves instead. Um, if it resolves on top and you successfully mutate, and then they kill or bounce that creature, uh, the cre both creatures go to your graveyard, both creatures go to your hand. Um, so you're kind of watching out from a tempo play. So one of the things I'm a little worried about, it's going to feel really bad when you stack like four things onto a creature, and then it gets uh, Aether Gusted or Brazen Board or Teferied. So, having said that, what we tried to do was focus on generating mana, reducing the cost of mutate, and getting stuff with pseudo evasion in terms of hexproof. Um, and then just kind of overloading on stats. So this is what I came up with. I don't know if it's good. We'll try it out. It could potentially be really fun. We'll see. Um, so, a couple Hydroid Crisis. Um, so yeah, we're playing Simic in colors. So Hydroid Crisis refills our hand if we kind of run out of stuff. Um, but more importantly, it's Flying Trample, and then you can get a whole bunch of other abilities as well, which is a good evasive threat. Um, Paradise Druid is a good mana accelerant. Uh, as you'll see, there's a lot of four drops and higher in the deck, so we want to kind of go as much as possible to Paradise Druid for that, or then just start having extra mana to mutate on top. Uh, Polywog Symbi Symbiote, um, two mana, one three. Each uh, creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if it has mutate. So it's another way of kind of pseudo card advantage, uh, cost reduction in the, that. And then whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate, draw a card and then discard. So it also allows us card selection. Uh, Gruel Spellbreaker, it's three mana, probably a four, four, maybe a three, three with haste. But the important thing is that it's hexproof during our turn. So they can't respond to it as we're mutating on top of it. They can respond to it on their turn, but we are trying to get that value. Uh, a couple Kiaras. A lot of the creatures in our deck have four power or greater, so it's a good way for us to draw cards. It's also pseudo ramp as well, and we can also do offense defense at times when we attack him with a creature and then keep it back. Uh, Everquill Phoenix is another Phoenix in the line of four mana, three threes or four four recursive threats. Uh, so it's a four mana, four four uh, that reads. So you could also mutate it for four onto another creature. Um, but whenever this creature mutates, create a red artifact token named Feather with one mana, sacrifice Feather, return fe uh, target Phoenix card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So it's a kind of way like um, Rekindling Phoenix to get it back. A little bit more steps involved, so I don't think this card is going to be nearly as good as Rekindling Phoenix was, but it's, uh, 
it's a different type of recursive threat, and then it's also a flyer. Gem Razor is another, I think, value card at three mana if you can mutate it. It's like a souped up uh, Reclamation Sage. So it's normally a four mana, four, four reach trample, which the stats on its own aren't terrible. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, destroy target artifact or enchantment an opponent controls. So it's, uh, you can mutate it, get it bigger, and then destroy some stuff as well. Uh, now we're gonna try something out. The often forgotten about four mana, six, six hexproof, uh, Nalhide Ferox. Uh, so you can't cast non-creature spells. It has hexproof and your opponent can pay two mana um, to make it lose all its abilities. So basically turn off hexproof and then they can kill it that way. But it's just another way to have pseudo hexproof in these colors. Ideally, what we would want would be like a slippery boggle situation, a one mana hexproofer that we then just suit up all these things on but I don't think they're giving that to us in standard. Um, if it does come up, they, if they discard, if they have Davriel and they make us discard, we can put this in for free, but probably not coming up as often on the last text. Uh, Questing Beast is basically made to be mutated in itself. It's kind of mutated already, uh, but Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste, whole bunch of text, you can throw even more on it with mutating on. So it's another good card like Hydroid Crisis to mutate onto. Uh, Eluna Apex of Wishes is kind of the top end, probably one of the better or best mutate cards. Um, so you can mutate for six, or if it's already on the battlefield with any of our cheaper mutate effects. Um, whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non land permanent card, put that card onto the battlefield or into your hand. So it's kind of a cascade effect of Bloodbraid Elf in these colors. Um, yeah, so then a couple cards I want to try out. Uh, Luca, just to see if it's any good with the Polymorph style effect. It's also card advantage, same with Vivian. Um, we only have two Nullhide Ferox. Everything else in the deck could be cast. But I just want to try these out to see how good they are. Um, I might cut these and then just play the Octopus Morph one um, that just draws us cards. And then Pouncing Shore Shark, Shark Beast Cat thingy. Um, basically, it's... Um, morphs and creates a brazen boro style effect you get to bounce something um, so something else i want to try uh, you can flash this one at instant speed this one might be a little too cute but a couple cards i want to try out um, and the one thing i need to update on this list i just realized um, we are missing the tri lands we've got a bunch of shocks and uh, temples but they have the new tricycle land the three color one so that should be added in here i'll make that revision in terms of the downloadable deck list um, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. Mutate was very hard for me to evaluate, um, but this is kind of what I came up with. I really would like the, some feedback on this one of any of the decks I put together. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to see you Wednesday and stay safe out there.